people, I am back with a review of some newly released products. It is actually the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. So if you want to see what I got and if they are, you know, like, let's pause. This hair, this hair is going to be everywhere in this video. It's Friday. I'm tired. I've been working all week and this is just what you're gonna get today, okay? So now that that's out the way, let's get back to these lipsticks. So I have some notes. I had them written down in a notebook, but I left my notebook somewhere else. I do have it pulled up on my blog because if you don't know, I have a blog, majormores.com, and I will have a post and companion with this video so if you see me looking off to the side or if I take a minute, that's to make sure that I touched on everything that I wanted to touch on. Getting started, this is gonna be the formula of the video. I just received the package today. I have not opened it. I don't know anything about what they look like other than what I've seen on Jacqueline's video that she posted. So we're gonna unpackage and try them out together. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about my shopping experience, my ordering experience. We're gonna open the package and then we're gonna test out the lipsticks. That is gonna be the formula of this video. So come along with me and let's go. If you hear a dog barking in the background, my neighbor's dog is going crazy, don't mind that. Starting off, Jacqueline released a video announcing her cosmetic brand and the launch on I believe it was May 21st the lipsticks the lipsticks launched on May 30th which was a Thursday she released 20 nudes it's a line that she's been working on for six years and basically what I did knowing how Jaclyn Hill releases go I set a reminder on my phone of the date and the time of the release of the lipsticks so when my alarm went off, I politely took myself on over to her website and I ordered what I wanted. Now, you could order the lipsticks in three fashions, individual, in trios, or you can buy the whole collection. The individuals are $18.50 per lipstick. The trios are $49 and the collection, which is the 20 lipsticks, is $295. So there you go shipping shipping is free on orders over 45 dollars so since i ordered a trio which is 49 dollars, i got shipping free standard shipping was three to six days they didn't specify if that if that's standard or just you know week days during the week whatever um, including weekends i ordered on around she released everything at noon I probably had my order complete about 12 15 and I got a confirmation email around 2 30 that day and then I got an email that the items were shipped on June 1st I didn't receive the items until June 7th so that's right at that six day window rewinding back when I went to the website to order everything, first initial thoughts, the landing page photo, amazing. Jacqueline looked great. The actual um, landing page itself was sleek. It was clean. I thought it was very nice. I could see the vision of as she releases things where they will go on that landing page. Right now it's all lipsticks, so everything is centered, centered around the lipsticks the photos in the about me section i thought some of them were a bit gaudy for my taste but if you know anything about jacqueline hill that's just how she rolls she's over the top in fact she has a quote on one of her photos that says i was not made to be subtle so there you go um anything else let me check my notes hold please we touched on that we did this here okay all of the lipsticks are vegan and cruelty free from what I've seen and actually what she said they do have scents, but we will tackle that when I actually open the package um, 
talked about them. We went them. Okay, the actual email itself I thought was really cute. So it wasn't the standard we've received your we've received your order. Your order has been shipped. It wasn't that kind of cut and dry standardized email. The emails were very personalized and they kind of made it feel like you know she wrote all these emails on herself even though you know it's just a template but it made it seem it, they were more fun so i will include like a screenshot of the email so you can read it for yourself but i thought the emails were a nice touch that they weren't just the standard we received your order your order is being packed your order has been shipped there, there was a little bit more of a personalized flair to it. So I really thought appreciated that as a customer. Okay, so that is pretty much, oh, ordering. I guess because I went to the website so early, like when everything launched, I didn't have any issues. Everything went smoothly for me. I clicked around in the different trios. I figured out the one that I wanted the most, went ahead and finished my purchase. Everything was smoothly for me. So that was my um, shopping experience and my experience on the website. Now let's get to what you came here for, which is the actual products. Let me grab it. Okay. As I mentioned, I only got one trio because I'm just not trying to spend all that money on some lipsticks, to be quite honest. I got the... Um, new tease trio this is what the box looks like on the front here my light is not letting me be great right now but these are the three shades this is fussy control freak and hot toddy here is what the individual packaging looks like it's very similar to the box this was actually, I think, the second darkest trio. So she had two trios that seemed very light that would work better for lighter skin tones. And then she had two trios that were a bit darker that seemed like they would work for more pigmented skin tones. Um, and so what I did is I used the, on her site, she basically for each, um, each lipstick, she has uh, lip swatches of the model. If you've ever been to... Colored Rain's website, how they have the actual swatches of the lipsticks on actual people's lips and they show you the skin tone around the lips. That is what she did for her website. So she has four skin tones. She has a really fair, a semi-fair, um, I guess like a kind of light skin and then a deeper skin tone, not, not super deep, like Lupita Nyong'o deep. But maybe like a Jackie Ina D. You know what I mean? Did what I could. Picked what I thought would work for me. These lipsticks are good for 12 months. There's the little 12 month uh, emblem on the back. That's on most cosmetic products. To be honest. This is not as gaudy as I thought it was going to be from her video. But this diamond on the top just not my steez it's just it's just not how i roll it's not my thing but it is very jacqueline so i'm not mad the product itself it has a bit of weight it's not super heavy it shouldn't really clunk around in your purse or in your bag that's the jh here on the front uh here's a better look at that diamond on the top and it's a very shimmery glittery packaging going on here which again, like I said, is very Jacqueline. I kind of expected this. So, so I'm gonna open all three of the lipsticks. I'm gonna try to go from lightest to darkest. Hot, toddy, and fussy on the box. Looks very similar, but I'm sure they're different. So let's open. All right, so if you can see, this is not a magnetic thing. You really have to make sure that you close the top. This is how much product you get, which is, you know, normal. It looks like a normal size. You get 
one three ounces so it seems like a normal size lipstick that you get now i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but there's there's like a scratch and an imprint here so i don't know what happened there but you know you know we're gonna we're gonna power through we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go go keep going with this so looking at these under my light fussy looks to be the lightest hot toddy next with control freak being last control freak looks like it has a bit of purple in it so we'll see how that goes but we are going to start with fussy i do not have a lip liner for these i just really wanted to swatch them on my lips and see what happens okay i got my mirror over here which is why i'm looking this way let's see This is giving me purple. Very purple. Like lavender. Lavender pink. The lipstick itself is creamy. It went on very well. It's, it glided on. It didn't tug or pull on my lips at all. Um, but this is not what i was expecting i was expecting because the the package see looks brown the color on the box and the color on the bottom of this um, packaging looks more brown so i was expecting more of a brown but you can see that this is not brown at all this is more pink lavender which i'm not mad at it's cute it's something that i wouldn't necessarily have to put on a lip liner for I can almost put this on without a mirror and pretty much just be okay that it'll look fine without a lip liner. And I forgot to grab some thing to take this off with. So, one moment. Okay. So that was Control Freak. What did I say? Next was going to be hot toddy so here we go hot toddy this is hot toddy you see it's brown this is more of the color that I was going for. This is the sort of color that I like. And in person, it's picking up darker brown than it's picking up on the camera right now. Again, the lipstick is very creamy, which is the theme of her lipsticks. They are so rich. Is it so rich, so creamy? I'll put like the little slogan on my screen somewhere. So, I mean, it's going to transfer. It's not transfer proof. What you can do is kind of blot it down to help minimize the transfer, but I'm, it's going to transfer. But it looks good. Your lips won't be crusty dusty. And I really like this color. I think this is going to be my fave. Okay, take that off. And the final one in the lineup is Control Freak. This is the one that I said looked like it had a bit of a purple tint or a purple hue to it. So let's see what's going on with this one. Ooh. This one, interestingly enough, is not as creamy as the other two. Definitely not as creamy as Hot Toddy. Hot Toddy was way creamier than this. Look for the top to the lipstick. Hot Toddy was way creamier than this. You can see this one does have a purple hue to it. Purple is not what I think of when I think of a nude. So I was thinking this was going to be more brown. Let me see. Because again, if I can, I'll take a close up and insert it here. But the, the color on here is making me think brown. Like the little color here is making me think brown, not purple. So 
that's the only kind of downside or disappointing thing about it. The formula also was not as creamy as Hot Toddy or Fussy. Hot Toddy um, was the creamiest out of all three in this particular trio. Now that's not to say that this is drying because it's not, it's not matte either. It just wasn't as creamy as Hot Toddy or Fussy. That's all. It's a nice color. It is still a color that I could put on without a liner. So in that respect, this is two thumbs up. If you are looking for lipsticks that you can kind of just throw on and you are kind of my skin complexion, all three of these are actually lipsticks that I could just throw on without a liner and not worry about looking crazy. Um, and so in that respect, they are all nudes for, you know, my skin tone is similar. Just to recap what I think of or my overall experience with ordering what I think of the actual products so on and such which starting from the beginning ordering I didn't have any issues the website worked smoothly for me shipping took a long time to me compared to other brands however it was within the window of standard shipping for her she mentioned three to six business days and I was right at the sixth business day the packaging I think is cute um minus this diamond on the top that's a bit extra for me but Jacqueline is extra so it goes along with her whole vibe and who she is at least on line her online persona so I'm not mad at it hot toddy is my favorite because it is a true brown nude fussy will probably be my second favorite even though it did have a slight purple hue and Control Freak is probably my least favorite. It's okay. It just wasn't what I was looking for. That is that. Thank you for watching. If you were interested in getting a lipstick, I would recommend Hot Toddy if you are in my skin tone um, area. Thank you for watching. Again, make sure you check out the companion post over on my blog also make sure you follow me on instagram to see photos of these in daylight as i wear them and um i will see you in the next video